Well, October is also National Disability Employment Awareness Month, and this year's theme is Expect, Employ, Empower. This month is intended to raise awareness about disability, disability employment issues and celebrate the many and varied contributions of America's workers with disabilities. Nancy joins us today with more. Well, thank you very much. Karen Bloomhorst joins me now, and Karen is with uh, Capabilities Incorporated out of St. Mary's. And um, it's a great time for you to be here because October is an actually National Disability Employment Awareness Month. I got that all out. You did. Yeah. It's wonderful. Thank you. So, so it's a it's a big month for you. It is. It's a, it's a nationwide month where we celebrate employment of people with disabilities and the advances that have gone forward and of course the things that we need to do in the future. Absolutely. So let's talk about what Capabilities Inc. is all about. We started Capabilities in 1997 after I was teaching school oh. and I was helping people with disabilities who were transition age, 18 to 22, and I was helping them get jobs in the community and helping them move from school to work. But I found as a teacher I could only go so far. Yeah. And so I had a lot of encouragement from many people and family members. My husband often said, you know, you keep complaining about other companies, so put your money where your mouth oh is. Oh boy, there so, you go. <laughs> so that's what we had to do. And uh, that's what, uh, everything that we've done with capabilities has been out of need. And of, out of need of helping people with disabilities move forward in lives and helping them achieve their goals. You know, it seems like it would be, if the desire and the will is there, then it should, you know, fall right into their, to their laps. But as we know, employment opportunities aren't always like that. No. And especially for those with disabilities. So what challenges do they have that we may not even think about? Well, I think you're right. If you have the will mm -hmm. and you have the want, you can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But there are things that have to be adapted for. Yeah. And if I have a, a, we work with people of all types of disabilities, whether it be a, a hearing disability or a vision disability or a physical disability and sometimes developmental disabilities. So those can be overcome. If, you, if they you have a, a job that you would like to achieve, we come up with steps to move forward with that and how to move you from not being employed to how to interview, how to have a resume, how to actually talk to employers about the issues that you're dealing with and whether you really do need to even discuss those issues because sometimes you don't. Yeah. Sometimes most of, there, uh, you know, there's many people in our businesses that have disabilities that we don't know about. You're so right. And they're all hidden yes. and not because we hide them ourselves but because they don't need to be known. Yes. And so those types of disabilities, you know, we can work with someone to help them explain to employers if they need to, if they need an accommodation, for example. Mm -hmm. And accommodations are, for the most part, very easy to do by an employer. Most of them are $50, $500 or less for an employer to, and, and even that $500 cost can be covered by many sources that we work with. We, one of our biggest folks that we work with are, is the Opportunities for Ohioans with Disabilities. And if you are, have a disability and it's an impediment to your employment, you can receive services from them and that will fund the services that Capabilities provides to help you find that job. Yeah, we were talking before you know, the camera started rolling about um, something as simple as transportation mm -hmm. can be the barrier for someone to get out and find a job. And, and we've solved that issue locally? Well, we, when, after we had started Capabilities, we found that we had a lot of, we were, we're pretty rural in St. Mary's, but of course Capabilities works in many counties in Ohio. We're in about half of the counties right now. Oh. So, but in a lot of areas, even if you do have transportation, it maybe doesn't provide you transportation to get to and from at the times that you need it. Uh huh. Because not everyone works eight to five. Uh huh. So in, in 2000, when we realized, gosh, people just do not have a way to get to work. Yes. My husband said, I, since I've told you for years, put your money where your mouth is, I told him the same <laughs> thing. You know, if you want people to get to work, we've got to teach them. Uh -huh. So we opened a driving school and we have 20 students a, a month who come through just our regular education driving school. But we have three full-time driver's instructors who go out and teach people with all types of disabilities how wow. to drive. Wow. And some of them have physical disabilities, but the majority of people have a cognitive disability. Okay. And, that, and it's overcoming that, how to learn the laws, right. how to learn to be safe, mm -hmm. but still be a very good driver so you can get yourself to and from work. Very good. Speaking of cars, I, what I know about you is that um, some of your uh, clients work and detail cars. Correct. In St. Mary's, and I have heard tremendous 
um, remarks from people who have used that service. And oh. so that is available in St. Mary's. Great. We have a company that's called We Can Too. Mm -hmm. And we have over 100 people with developmental disabilities who work there each day. They work four hours a day, two shifts, and those they're paid minimum wage. So it's not by the by the job, by the piece, uh -huh. but they, and yes, one of the services they, they provide is car detailing. And it's a uh, reasonable cost, but it is a job that we have been able to accommodate for many people to be able to do. One of the, the men who helps on that crew at times is blind. No kidding. And he is, he can feel what's on the car. He is one of, uh, one of the best detailers Aww. that we that we have. And you know what, so often our, um, um, our jobs determine our identity as individuals. Mm -hmm. And so just to have that job to go to, the mission every day mm -hmm. gives them a reason to survive, to live, you know, to see the next day. And I think that is, that's an amazing service you're providing them as well. Thank you. Yeah, so. it's very, we're very proud of all the people that work there. And, and there's quite the movement in Ohio and, the, and the, across the country for people to work in the community. Yes. And for, for many years, it's been, we, we, I ask my children, where do you want to work? But we've asked people with disabilities, do you want to work? Mm. And so we've, had, we've really had to change that in the last couple of years and mm -hmm. say, no, no, not do you want to work, where do you want where to work? Do you want to work? Yeah. And so we have an, there's an uh, initiative called the Employment First Initiative, and that is helping people who are in a sheltered workshop type of situation move from that sheltered environment to a competitive integrated em environment if that's what they choose. Wonderful. Well, Karen, we are out of time, but it's been a pleasure talking with you, and keep up the good work in uh, Auglaise County and beyond. Thank you very much. Thank you. And back to you in the studio.